Sarah and Greg Riego and their three youngest children. In January 2013, all five were found slaughtered inside their South Valley home. Deputies eventually arrest 15 year old Nehemiah, who's since admitted to the murders, but as he waits to learn whether he's sentenced as an adult or a juvenile, we're learning Nehemiah did not come clean right away. You know, they died in a car crash or something. And that uh, he's on his own. He's by, you know, he doesn't have anybody now. That's what Jonathan Cottonsteady said he heard from the grandmother of Nehemiah's girlfriend. They were all together at church the day after the shootings. But when Cottonsteady questioned Nehemiah himself, he says the 15 year old had a different story that someone broke into the house and killed them all. He just was saying, you know, my family, the corpses, they're, they're all over the house. Cottonsteady said it all sounded strange. So he told another church member when he spoke to to Nehemiah. He didn't have any emotion, kind of, um, I don't want to say cold, but just he didn't have any emotion. And then when no one could reach Nehemiah's parents, they called 911. I'm not sure if this is a hoax. I'm not sure what's going on, but I have some weird vibes. When deputies arrived at the house, they described it as one of the most gruesome crime scenes they've ever seen. In Albuquerque, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. If the judge decides Griego should be sentenced as an adult, he could face up to life in prison as a juvenile. He'll be treated and likely released when he is 21. Coming up at 6, we're going to hear from a radiologist who examined the murderer's brain.